Hello everyone and welcome back to Village Life. In the last one we did quite a bit of unlocking as well as trying to repopulate the whole area. That has not really worked because we've gone down a few more. <laughs> so, oopsie. Um, but we will try to repopulate a little more in this episode as well as unlocking new stuff and of course try to gather or catch what we unlocked the last time. So first of all we go in here on the taskbar, we can see we have unlocked the plums, which we set to unlock last time. We have unlocked the sander, so we can start trying to catch that fish. And as well, we can start planting onions, or hopefully we can. And as well, we have some farming stuff that has completed, so people might have gotten a bit happy. But right now, she wants something that we can't really get, or we can't really farm because it's not unlocked yet, as you can see. So Anne will have to wait with that, but she does want a child. But we wait a little second with that. As well as, let's see here, just to remember everything from last time, because it's not one of my strong suits. Unfortunately, my memory is like a sieve at the moment, which is not really healthy for me. Um, we also finished off this uh, Jack in a Box, or Monkey in a Box, or... What we prefer to call it, uh, what was actually its name? Uh, let's see here, it's probably a kitty's toy, right? Is it a fun toy? Oh, it's a Riverside stuff, isn't it? It's a Riverside thing, yeah. It's a Jack in the Box, okay. So it's, um, uh, oh, what's, what's he called? Can't remember. It was like a children's series with a little monkey trying to learn everything and he had like a zookeeper that helped him learn everything, I can't remember. Uh, in Danish he was called Peter. Peter... something that rhymed with Peter. I can't remember right now, which is really just... I think that's just gonna be the theme of this episode is me not remembering anything. Which is kind of common, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, but let's see, we can start and try planting the onions, I don't know what we need for that. We need iron and elm. Okay, so we start mining iron. And chopping down some elm. So we can start crafting this item as well, yes. And, oop, stuff broke. <laughs> uh oh. So we will have our fourth person that married into the family of this, of my game. Um, gathering these things. And, oh, there was the eel from last time as well. Uh, oh, we can start crafting that. Okay, we will go to, go to Riverside. Like, it's a, like a baby boom area. They all want a child at the moment, which is really nice. Because that means we can probably up our population just a little tiny bit this round. Which is nice. Um, we can we cannot start a fire now because we're actually missing that. Um, we can start crafting the study net though, and I think we will have Bunny do that because we can see if we are lucky enough to get a child in this go around. Let's see here. How lucky are we? With my luck, we probably uh, if I can figure out how to click on this. We're probably not that lucky. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we were! Yay! Fantastic. That means we already uh, finished the study net. And we can actually see here... Um, we can't actually afford a, a special charm of sorts. Hmm. Let's see, should we take a... Well, the difference between a deluxe charm and a premium charm is not that vast anymore. I thought there was a lot more. Oh, well, then we we'll just have a um, deluxe and see if we get something we haven't, or get a character we haven't had before. It could actually be quite interesting, getting like characters we haven't had before. And I'm thinking many of these are the fairy tales and like skill related. Um, babies? I don't think... Timothy? Is that his baby sprite? Oh. <laughs> well, we know how he looks when he gets old and older and swore, but... Hope hopefully he doesn't fall into a puddle of mud and gets stuck there and loses all hope in himself. 
But Timothy has a baby sprite? That's so adorable. That's nice. Anyway, that means we have finished uh, actually building the study net, which is fantastic. And we can start catching the eels. I'm not a big fan of eel. <laughs> As you guys probably already know, I'm not a big fan of seafood at all. <laughs> Some of it I can't... Um, I'm allergic to and the rest I just don't like the taste of, unfortunately. Because it should be actually be very healthy for you to eat some of it. Or, or at least eating fish on a regular basis. Anyway, we will also try and start... Oh, we need a lot for the plums. Damn. Let's see here. We need a goat machete! We need a gold machete. We will have Tanya start gathering the gold for the golden machete. And then we will collect the pine wood. And we will have Willem start yeah. to gather the vines so we can start creating the regular basic box so we can actually do stuff. Which is nice. So we have those out of the way. Besides that, we also need to catch the sander. However, now that Willem is actually out, as you can see here, he's out and about and catching fish. I see here. Oh, he actually wants the... <laughs> can we actually get her to light the fire? But Because I don't know. No, she, she she's completely incapable of doing anything as, as long as she's pregnant. Okay. That's good to know. Very good to know. Um... Actually, the fishing animation is very funny. We can go on and see this. Because we've seen the hunting and the farming animation, but I've actually never, as I can recall, shown the fishing animations. We're sailing away out on the open river. Not sea, because this is far from sea. Let's see here. Oh, he's going further. Oh, look! He be fishing. He's so proud. Oh, he's so good at what he's doing. I don't think... Oh, yeah, that's ex that is actually how you catch eel. Like, you take out a net and then catch and scoop them up from the water. If they're low river or, like, low water rivers. It's like, isn't you supposed to use, like, a fishing rod? No, not, for, not, not particularly for eels, no. Usually I see them just being caught by net, not really by fishing rods. Anywho, we can also... How far are we with gathering the wines? We are done gathering the wines. So we will have Willem. Not Dylan, but Willem. Which means we have to go back to Woodland. And then we will have Willem start building the, the pine box because that's the annoying part of, uh, of, of the whole thing is as soon as you... They only have 10 uses per Thing, as I've said before and as far as um, I have known for a long time you could when you played on the Facebook one you could see how much um, or how many uses yes 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 you should yeah well that go over how many times did we take before it breaks apparently I can't talk today either so that's fantastic um, how many tries there are left in the items and as far as I've been informed they no longer have that I'm not sure because I couldn't really get my Facebook thing to work so I couldn't even check if it was true or not because I actually want to show it off because it's really handy especially if you don't play on the tablet then that's really handy um, but we can also go and start unlocking some new items because since all the free items that was not what I meant to do I I, I clicked on the box not on okay I, 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 apparently they they took that as a oh well let's try for a child okay let's see are you lucky oh we are Two out of three. That's pretty nice. That's pretty neat. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. Ooh. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, we're going to have a surprise child. <laughs> I'm guessing because it just popped out of the menu. What the? 
I'm confused now. A little bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot. But just totally confused by this. Um, but they are done with the iron, which is good. Um, let's see. What else do we need? We still need the elm. And we actually are done with collecting the elm, which is fine. So we will have... We will have... Artemis start actually cra crafting this iron sickle. Um, so we can start. We're actually planting onions in our gardens because now that's fully evolved. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're in our like... Yes, it's fully upgraded. That's right. That's right. We have fully upgraded our farm, which is fantastic. I forgot we had. Um, just for a second, which is really surprising that I forgot that. Because I've been for fighting so much for getting that done. Um, let's see. We could also go to the mountains just for a second. And now we can see that Tanya is still gathering gold. But she wants a child, so let's try for a child, shall we? And see if we are all three lucky, or this time it will only be two for three. The two for three is still a good, like, chance development. And whole, oh, three out of three this time, that's nice, that's always useful. And, okay, good. I was kind of for... For a second, I was kind of scared that <laughs> that the, um, I was kind of scared that the whole uh, uh, menu would go down again, which scared me a little bit, obviously, which I just said three times. Anywho, I actually think I will let the mountaineers get twinsies because why not? Twins are nice. Twins are cute, so let's do that. Um, let's see, and click, click, click. Are we lucky? Are we going to have one that we don't have? Alamenda. I don't think we've had her. I think she's new. Brown pelt fence, which... Oh, well, that would actually be nice in, in, uh, in the mountain area. And then we have another stone, and we'll see what Amel Alamelda's twin will be. Let's see! We're going to have a skill. Yeah, that's a skill. We have a Lilian. I think we have had her before, because I certainly recall that we had a Lilian here in the mountains before. We got a chariot! Nice! We got another medium banner. We have already two of those in... Uh, uh, in uh, <laughs> We already have like two of those banners at the uh, cemetery. <laughs> so yay! And we have a forester which is good and we have a tra traveler. I don't think we have any of the travelers. Hmm. Interesting. And then some... I still like we got a chariot. Like... What, what are we gonna do with that? Uh, we will figure out how what, what, where we're gonna place that. Uh, that took me a little off guard. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be another father flower. No, a chariot. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. So we are done collecting the gold. What else do we need? Oh, we can have Alexander start crafting the gold machete, and then we will see what do we. Oh, no, not you. Not you. Later, not you, not right now. Then we will see. We need a beach box. Oh, they're like. And they take some time. And now something. Another machete. The silver machete broke. So we have to probably collect silver. Yes, we do. So we will have to wait with that. Oh goodness. Okay, stuff breaks a lot. Um, okay. 
Didn't expect so much to break at one time. Oh look, Tanya found her fountain of youth because she once again got pregnant. Or, actually, I think it's her firstborn. But it's still like, no matter how old the sprites are, as soon as they get pregnant, they only have one type of sprite. That's a young string, long, youngling, uh, practice, spritus. <laughs> Um, I have a part of the chariot. I think we could actually place it here next to the... Yeah, let's place it next to the quote-unquote mayor's office. Who actually lives here? No one. Um, let me move Tanya and them in there. Because now she's the mayor. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently. And we can actually move Di Darina in next here. So we have them living in the family. Oh yeah, I guess. Um, let's see. Decorations. Uh, so where is the chariot? Oh, oh, oh! I skipped it. It's right there. Oh, it's a, it's a child chariot. It's a candy one. Looks like one of those like um dog chariots you could have as a child. Not really putting the child in the chariot, but there are some dog trainers that has these like dog chariots or dog pulling thing for like huskies. Uh, in Denmark, it's probably it's not sleds because if it was a colder place with snow, it would have been a sleigh. It would probably be in a sled, but in Denmark we have these kind of like weird chariot-looking things for dogs, especially huskies and such that's used to actually um, in nature run a lot. I know my sister had one once. Ah, never mind. Memories are not my best thing today, as I've already proclaimed a couple of times. Um, about memory. Uh, let's see. We needed to start unlocking new things. So, what should we start unlocking? I think we should start unlocking stuff in Riverside. And see if we can get stuff, fun stuff and such unlocked and then place them so it looks more inviting for people to live there, right? So let's start unlocking the fish pond we can maybe place next to Fenwick in the tree so we have this little um, identical area. <laughs> I don't know. Even though they're surrounded by water, they also need a fish pond. Sounds so logical. Um, but I'm guessing that's where they train their children to start fishing because they're living in the fishing skill area So they will learn how to fish obviously um, That sounds like that, that kind of sound like the hunger games a little bit you have area one two three at the moment <laughs> Other than it has no resemblance to what area one two three in the hunger games are about but it's got like area one farming area two fishing Area 3, hunting. Where will they come from? We do not know. Anywho. Um, I also think we will start unlocking more buildings. Ooh. We have the lodge. We actually have a lot of buildings where we could potentially unlock here or something. We will make a um, bigger mirrors, lodge, cottage, living place, space. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to um, have a couple of children, which is nice. And I, I'm starting to have this idea, like, when you create a family, the whole family tries to live in the same house. That could be fun, because then it's the children and the children inherit their houses or something. I don't know. That would be fun, I think. As well as... Oh, we have one more unlockable, actually. Uh... And I think since we are starting to unlock so many food items, I think we need to start unlocking... Oh, not, not, not new. Um, buildings. I think we actually need to start unlocking more food storage, actually. And since the other water and resource storage already are unlocked to level 4, I think we should unlock the food storage as well to level 4. Nine days! Okay! Hmm, interesting. That's, that's a long time. That's a long time, children. Okay, so let's see here. One and a half day, four and a half days, and like 
nine days. So, yay! That's gonna take some time to unlock, that's fine. And we will have a good time with doing that. And let's see. Our, oh, the machete is already done. That's nice. Um, okay, we've just broken everything. Goodness. We'll have yeah. Alexander start gathering that. We've just broken every tool that we have in the mountains. Goodness gracious. Um, and for some reason, I think I broke my game a little bit because I can't collect those happiness points. Oops. Anyway, I think actually we are at the point where we can't do much more. Other than go into collecting and see if we're missing any of the new... No, we actually not. And this is the intriguing thing is like every 24 hours there's like a new batch of three that's shown. And as you can see here I already have seen all those three or I already have, them, have had them all in my inventory. So we won't be using anything on these today. Because, of course, my OCD of collecting anything will probably make us able to, or at some point, we will have a 170, uh, 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 57, 75, 57 of 157 at some point. But 157 is still a lot of characters to go through. I'm actually quite intrigued on all the skill sets that all the characters have. But anyway, I think actually I'll be ending off here. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.